me. All right, lesson 29, page number 131. <laughs> Uniform motion problems. D sub prime 1 plus D sub prime 2 Ooh, equals K. K. All right, up to this point. Yes, what does that mean? What we've done so far is if Seth gets on his bike and goes that far, Ben gets on his dirt bike and goes that far, and we're looking at things, our distances are the same. Our distance that Seth rides equals our distance that Ben rode, even though Ben may go faster than Seth. That's okay, yes, thank you, Michael. Sometimes I'll say that it take, it's um, the distance here and then the distance back. So the distance again are the same, they're just in different directions. But now what we're going to do is we're going to say the distance here and the distance here, when you add them together, equals a number like 300. Okay? So let's say that whole distance is 300. I may say that we've got something here and something here and Seth starts riding his bike and Ben starts riding their bike and they're going to meet at McDonald's. So this distance and this distance will give us the total distance here. Okay? And then finally there'll be some that we're going to look at where Ben and Seth start at McDonald's and Ben goes home and Seth goes home and at a certain time they are this far away from each other. Okay, so K just means it equals a number. Okay, so let's look at an example on page 132, example 29.1. We've got Napoleon. He is walking. 60 miles. So the distance that he walks is 60 miles to the site of the battle. And he rides the rest of the way on a. I have no idea what that word is, so let's just say horse. All right. Obviously, it's case. Oh, you don't know. So, no. So he rides the rest of the way. We'll use R. Okay? I don't know how far he rode on. Whatever that is. On that thingy. He walked at three miles an hour. So his rate of walking is three. And he rode at nine. So his rate of riding is nine. Okay? So you write down on these problems your distance, your rate, and your time, and use the little. Um, subpoint initials here to kind of give yourself an idea. So you should be in the big letters R and T and D and your little letters just to represent whether you're walking, whether you're riding, or you know whatever you happen to be doing. Sometimes it's with a name. So if the total time of the trip was eight hours, how long did you walk? Okay. So this is one of those problems where we have we don't have the distance of walking. It says Napoleon walked part of the 60 miles. It doesn't say you walked oh. 60 miles. Which means we also don't have the distance of riding. Okay, just settle down there. <laughs> so distance walking plus the distance of riding, thank you Kendra, yeah. is 60 miles. Okay, does that look better? Yes. Okay, so his distance walking plus his distance riding is 60 miles. So that whole thing is 60. Alright, we do know since since this is true, we know that the rate walking times the time of walking plus the rate riding times the time riding equals our distance of 60 miles. All right, how many uh, variables do I have up there? Four. I have four. How many equations do I have to have in order to have four variables? 
Four. I have to have the same number of equations as I do variables in order to in order to solve this. Okay. Let's see what we know. Let's do this. Here's one equation. There's two equations. Uh, what else do I know? Do you know that dw plus dr is the time that he walked plus the time that he rode equals what? Eight hours. Eight. Okay. So there's three equations that I know. Do I know anything else? The dw plus dr equals 16. dw. Oh, that doesn't matter. That's the point. Well, but that's our main equation, yeah. so that'll work. All right, so let's start filling in some of the blanks here. <coughs> RW is 3. What about my TW? Negative TR plus 8. 8 minus 8 minus TR. 8 minus TR or negative TR plus 8. Okay. What is my RR? And my TR? TR. We'll just leave it TR. Equals 60. Solve for TR, please. TR for me? Six. Six. TR, what does that represent? Time so what does the question, what does the equation ask for in the problem? Time of walking. Time of walking. So I did not find the correct answer. So guys, one of the things you got to remember doing these story problems is making sure once you find an answer, it's the answer the story problem was asking for. In this case, it's not. But it does lead us to finding out the rest of it. And you said two, Ben, why? You, didn't you hold up two fingers? Yeah. Okay. So why did you, where did, how did you get two? Okay. So the time that he walked is our TR, which is six. Take that from the eight total and that gives you two hours walking. So that's actually um, what you were looking for here. Okay. Oh, you probably have. Example 29.2, I'm just hoping this time, Elias, it'll start coming easier and easier as you learn to do it more and more. All right, so example 29.2, Edward Longshanks. <laughs> there were actually people named that. And Queen Eleanor were 54 miles apart at dawn. So, they were 54 miles apart. So would you write like DL plus DQ would be 54? Mmm, <coughs> DQ. That does sound good. I just want fries actually. They headed toward each other. Okay? So the distance of Longshank and the distance of Eleanor. They both went different distances. So let's see what we've got here. They began the journey to the meeting place at 8 a.m. Who, who began the journey? Edward. Edward. Edward began at 8. Oh. Can you say that? Yes. They met at 4. How long was Eddie on the road? The time Long Shanks was traveling was how long? Seven hours. No, eight hours. Okay. You, you get an eight? Wait. Eight. Eight to four? Yes. Okay. Eight sounds good. All right. How long was uh, 
the queen on the road. She started six. Two hours later. So she was only traveling for six hours. So who's going faster? Obviously, the middle. The queen. It depends on where they met. The queen has a longer. <laughs> well, if it took the queen less time, obviously she was. Unless they met closer to her. <laughs> well, they would. Right. She was going faster. So she would get wherever she was going. But the distance is much. I mean, she would go further because she was going faster. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because it'll all come out. So DL plus DE equals 54. Guys, what am I going to replace DL with? All right, so let's start filling in with what we what we be knowing. How did that change to? Well, distance equals rate times time, and distance here equals rate times time. So I just changed into RTs instead of these. Okay, so what do I know about the uh, speediness of Eddie? He was going at three miles. So his rate was three. And how long was he on the road? Eight. Okay. What do I know about uh, Ellie? How fast was she going? I don't know. We don't know. So we'll leave it. How about how long it took her? Okay. You can use simple algebra, find out how speedy she was. So how fast was Ellie going? About five miles an hour. Is that what we are looking for? See how fast the queen traveled. Yes, yeah, so we're looking for how fast the queen traveled. Which, you know, way back there in the olden days, that was pretty speedy. Five months an hour. I wonder if she was wobbling her right. She'd have to be if she was. I mean, that would be really harsh to live back then and uh, have it take so long. Let's uh, let's do number twenty nine point three on the bottom of page one thirty two, just because I like the name Moon Moon Fa. Okay, we've got Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Whizzes off toward Rocket Land. Come on, John. Come on, John. He can come up with better things than that. Hey, he did teach us what. Our new word about gambling. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, an hour later, Moonfa whizzes off in the opposite direction. Okay, so we've got we've got Rocket Man going to Rocket Land. There's a song by uh, Michael W. Smith from back in the, oh golly, late 80s called Rocket Town. So Rocket Man leaves wherever he is and heads to Rocket Land. An hour later, Moonfa heads off. Does it say the opposite direction? Yep. It doesn't say where she's going, but they do say... And by the time the end of the day is here, they've gone 11,800 miles away from each other. I wonder if anybody will say that in the near distant future. Man, back in 2012, if you wanted to go 1,000 miles, it took days. Now it just takes, like, beam me up, Scotty, and I'm there. But 
Did you say beat me up? Beam. Beam. Oh. Beam me up. Star Trek. Star Trek. Beat me up. Oh. Beat me up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have distance of rocket man, distance of moon thaw. If we add those two up, we get 11,800 miles. I'm just going to leave it at that. And I want you guys to spend a few minutes trying to figure that out. What I'm interested in is how fast did rocket man and moon thaw travel in order to get that far apart from each other.